here's all me and my wife and my five sons right there. This picture was took in the early 80s. Uh, my son Troy, he was about 14 or 15. My son Kevin, he's about 16 or 17. And Mark, he was probably around 13 years old. And Andy, he was he's six or seven. My son Kelly, he was just still a little baby. Close up picture here. Hey Kelly, Paul, look here. This picture here was took my son Troy. He got killed in uh, 1996 in a car wreck. He was 28 years old. I was crazy about it for a long time, for months. I go along, drive down the street, or see, look down the street. I think I see him walking towards me. But anyway, I pulled myself together. So you know. When Kelly graduated from high school, Troy got killed. A year later, Kelly's girlfriend was going to graduate that year. And before she got to graduate, she got killed in a car wreck. So, he got a little wild after that, started drinking. And he'd been drinking off and on all his life since then. Uh, he's, he was a very smart, talent, talent person. He knew what he was doing. He worked uh, over here at 3M, he worked at Toyota, and he could just do about and fix about anything he wanted to fix, okay? He knew more about computers and stuff than I did, so I always spend on him a lot. We started off with uh, seven of us. Well, there's only four of us left. But anyway, uh, anyway, you just go on, you know. But I, I guess that's part of living, you know. You live and you die and so on. But I, I never did want to outlive my children. Kelly had a daughter down there, 12 years old, he thought a lot of. And the day before he missing, his daughter was right up here. Well, they was eating chili together. Kelly made a big pot of chili. She's a basketball player, a very good one. I've had these two pieces for 21 years, okay? This one here, Billy, 
is a picture. Uh, the name of it is Dancing Girl. You see as she's dancing, okay? And, and on the back here, it is signed Vincent, 1880. This one here, Billy, is the name of this is the actress. Uh, it's th this one here is signed Vincent Van Gogh on the back. Uh, it's really hard to see it right now, but it's on there. I still think they could be real. Okay. What do you think? Uh, you like me? You don't know either. <laughs> It'd be great if they was real. I'd give I'd give you a little money. I'd give you fifteen or twenty dollars for the soldiers. You know? <laughs> this joke with me. Yeah. You'd be took care of, okay? Because uh, maybe a hundred years for that. What I'm going to try to do now is show off when my son is missing and how I report him missing. I'm not going to go through a lot of details. It would take two days. <laughs> okay. Now, that was a picture of him right there, you know. Last I seen was on a Tuesday night. He did not come in that night. Did not come back home. Wednesday night, he didn't come home. Thursday night, at 11 o'clock, he went home. So I got my car and went to hunt for him. So, Today is the second day that Harrison County Search and Rescue has combed South Fork Licking River for any sign of 39-year-old Kelly Hudgens. Well, currently right now, we do put two dogs on the water this morning. Both dogs hit on uh, something there. Crews the people who searched down there searched for a lot of hours, a lot of days. They searched a long ways down the river. Search and rescue crews combed through six miles of the South Fork Licking River using dogs, and they walked that length on foot. They came up empty handed. Lexington Channel 18, Channel 27, and 36 News out of Lexington. Been down here, right here in my house, interviewing me or my son, Miss, Miss him. All they ask me when they come down here is, how do you feel about your son being missing? In my own words, how the hell do you think I feel? I get tired of them asking me that question. I told them, I said, that's a stupid question. Michael Hudgens is offering $25,000 of his own money for any information that will lead him to his son, Kelly. Michael Hudgens says his life was turned upside down on November 13th, the last day his son, 39-year-old Kelly Hudgens, was seen alive. Here's a reward poster that I put out. It was $25,000. There's my son's picture, and there's his daughter. And also, I put down here, and I'll read it to you. My son Kelly has been kidnapped and murdered. Suspects are Chad 
Daniel and David and also two more that I will not say right now. Call me, write me a letter, draw me a map. I want to find my son's body. They say, you're going to get in trouble for saying them names. They're going to take you to court and sue you. The only problem is, I'd like to see them in court. That's where I want them in court. Here he is. These people are suspects. Chad uh, I went down to that boy's house, and I said, listen, I know Kelly was here. And that boy says, yes, he was here, but he just stayed just a bit and walked on. Okay, he was lying. Because next day, his uh, guy lived with him, said, yeah, Kelly was here. Him, him and that Chad walked to a place walk somewhere together. It's going about an hour. Uh, then next time me and my son's questioning at Chad, he changed his story around again. He lied three times or four times already about that night. Daniel, he was involved in a kidnapping down in Tennessee in dope drugs and served time for that. David, He's in drugs. When I say I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna use this bad language. When I say I'm gonna get these son of bitches that killed my son, I'm going to. I am going to. I don't give a damn the last thing I'll do on earth. I'll get them.